After reading the announcements, let's go back to the home page. You can either click home in the top left hand corner or because I opened that in a new window, I'm going to close out of my announcements window and just go back to the home page. The syllabus is your lifeline for this course. It identifies important things about the course from grading policies to what's expected of you. It also outlines what the class is going to cover, which in my opinion is the most important thing for you to take a look at right now. And so you can either click on the announcements tab on the left or the button across the top of your page. Whatever floats your boat, click on one of them. I'm going to open it in a new tab just so I can always come back to my home base here. The syllabus in Art 1280 Photoshop software is very long. It has a lot of things included on it. Um, at this point, I think you can probably skim through it and, and just kind of grab at the things that you're more or less interested in. I would like to point out a few important things that you should stop on as you're skimming through it. The reason I say it's okay to skim through it now is twofold. One, uh, you now know where the syllabus is so you can come back to it at any time in the future if you have questions about policies and procedures for the course, but also when you do your homework for the first module which is getting started in R1280, there's a syllabus quiz that has nine questions on it that pull out nine very important things on the syllabus so you'll have to go and find those answers as you do your homework, but we'll talk about that when we get to homework. So the syllabus, some important things. You can read the course description. Uh, it's usually just a broad generalized statement, but if you go down further, there will be course level learning objectives and module level learning objectives. The course level learning objectives essentially in a broad way identify how we're going to meet the course description and our goals for the class as really broad topics. Your teacher is free to meet those objectives in any way he or she sees fit. So they could do different projects or different lectures for their class, but their goal is to meet these objectives. We have also refined those objectives into very, very specific skill sets that you will learn in Photoshop, and we've broken them down by module. And so module one doesn't count. It's not a Photoshop module. It's a getting used to the class module. It's what we're currently working on. But if you take a look at what's listed under modules 2 and 3, 4, 5, and 6, you will see all of the things that we are going to cover this semester. We'll probably cover more, but the Visual Art and Design Department got together and we made a list of everything, every specialization within the art department felt was important to be covered in a foundational beginning through intermediate Photoshop course. And so as instructors, we are not only trying to meet the course level objectives, which are these broad um, I think I moved my window a little bit, which are these broad um, course level objectives. We are going to meet those course level objectives by hitting every single one of these smaller skills-based learning objectives um, throughout the semester. The reason I'm pointing this out, or the reason that it's important, is we get a lot of students in the Art 1280 class and really in any of our Adobe software programs, and students usually are in three categories. They either have never used the software before and they're intimidated by it and they think, I'm not going to be able to do that, it's too hard, it's too much. Or they're the exact opposite of that and they have some Photoshop or some InDesign or some Illustrator experience and they think, there's no way I'm going to learn anything I don't already know in the course. Or, um, and usually the bulk of the students are somewhere in the middle where they have a little bit of experience but they don't know what they don't know. And so if you're in any one of those categories and you're thinking, this is too much, well, read through it because these are very small, achievable goals that we're going to kind of scaffold or stack together so that by the time everyone gets to the end of the semester, they're at an intermediate Photoshop level. If you're at the far end of that and you think, well, I know Photoshop and I know everything there is to know about Photoshop and I don't think I should have to take this course, read through the objectives and if you legitimately know everything that we're going to cover, um, there is another section on the syllabus which I'm not going to highlight right now, but it explains how you can test out or test in to an advanced Photoshop course. We don't actually let students test out of the course, but you could test into the advanced one and essentially skip this course and take the, the harder, more advanced Photoshop course. But I would encourage you to read through them because a lot of people um, who want to test out try to test into the next level and then they realize they didn't do half of the things that we're going to cover in this course. Okay, some other key things to point out are the late policy and how you're going to be graded. So I have a late or an attendance policy 
in the online version of the Photoshop course. Attendance is required um, in all courses. For an online course, it's a little bit more fluid, but at the very least, if you want to be considered as having attended the course during the first week of the semester, you must complete all of the items within Module 1, Getting Started in Art 1280 Photoshop software. The online course in particular has very high enrollment and we always have students on wait lists trying to get in to the limited number of sections that we offer. And so if you don't log in and complete everything in the first module, by the end of the first week of the semester you may be drop, dropped for lack of enrollment to make room for people who are on the wait list, so keep that in mind. My late policy for work I believe is very flexible and so first you should expect to have coursework due every Wednesday and every Saturday throughout the semester. Um, in the next video I'll talk about the semester schedule and I think it'll make a little bit more sense um, but essentially your work is expected to be submitted every Wednesday and every Saturday and if it is late it's docked 10% for being late. However, um, you can submit late work up until the very last day of the semester, which we define as the Wednesday of finals week, no matter what semester you're working on, except for summer. Summer ends on a Saturday. Um, I think it's very generous because if you get behind, you can have a few weeks to get caught up, but please keep in mind that um, the work in our course kind of snowballs, and so it's not a good idea to habitually submit work late week after week. Students that submit work late tend to fall behind and can't get caught up and then because they can't get caught up fail the course. And then the last thing I want to emphasize about the course syllabus is the grading policy. You can see what grade you need to earn an A or a B, whatever grade you want to earn in our class, based on percentages here. It is a little bit of a unique grading scheme. Um, Art 1280 is a very skills-based course. I will allow you to fix and resubmit your creative projects and your skills practice activities over and over until they are correct so there is no reason that you can't get a very high grade in this course and so for that reason you need a 93 percent or higher to earn a full A. Uh, 90 to a 93 or just below a 93 will get you an A minus and then you can see all the other grades. Um, I also want to note that grading in our course is done by module so in some of your classes you might have your homework as a certain percentage and your quizzes at a certain percentage and your projects as a, weighted as a certain percentage. In the Photoshop course, every module is weighted a different amount. So module one, which is the intro module, is worth 5% of your grade. Module two, which is our first real Photoshop module, and I, I did that in air quotes, is 15%. Modules 3 through 6 are all worth 20%. The reason that Module 2 is worth less is because there's less work in Module 2. It's mostly knowledge base information about graphics and images and resolution and file size, and there's no creative project. You don't have creative projects in Art 1280 until we start Module number 3. Okay, I would like everyone to finish skimming through the course syllabus. There's a lot of information. You can see what supplies and what textbook are required. There are important dates. You can read about different specialization or emphasis tracks. There's even a copy of the semester schedule on the course syllabus. When you're done, move on to the next video and we will go back to the home page and we will begin navigating through the course.